All right, tubes. What I'm gonna work on today is uh, is a buzz coil out of a Model T. We use these for our uh, engines, our antique engine to keep them running. I mean, they're cheap. You can get these at the shows for like five dollars, but you, you want them to you want them to work good, so you you know they don't go bad on you when you're at the show. Anyway, this one here. Let's see what I got here. It says good buzz, no spark to the plug. So I checked it all out, and I think it it, it might need a capacitor. Or a condenser, I think they called them back then. But uh, anyway, let me show you what a real one's supposed to do. I got this one hooked up. What I usually do with my buzz coils is I'll check them all out. Check the primaries. Here's one here. The capacitor was 0.77, and the primaries were good. Secondaries were good, you know. So I check them all out. Uh, this one here. This one here is good. And let me show you what the spark looks like. I got it hooked up to a little six volt battery there. You see the spark down here on the spark plug? That's what you get. Sometimes you get a little spark out of the, the contacts here. I think my wire's in the way. Hold up. Yeah. But uh, this is what you want. You want a real hot spark down here at the plug. Alright, let me hook this one up and uh, show you what it's doing. It says it says no spark, but I think it's getting a very weak spark. So let me hook this one up. Alright, I got it hooked up. I'm getting a, a real strong spark out of the, the points here. But down at the plug, very weak. So uh, I'm going to take it apart and uh, maybe uh, change the capacitor on it. Uh, let, me, let me show you. I'm gonna I'll take a reading on it with the meter and show you what they should be. All right, here's the good one. What I did is I put a piece of paper here between the contacts so they don't ground out, and then just connected the where the capacitor is on the inside there. And here's the meter. And it comes up to uh, 0.82. It's supposed to be, uh, I think, 0.47. And uh, it looks like at one time this was 0.77. So the capacitor here's going bad, but it probably won't go bad for a long time. You got to remember these, these buzz coils. Some of them are are 90, 90 years old or more, you know, so, uh, and capacitors weren't meant to last that long, especially back then, the newer ones. The newer capacitors might, you know, because they're, they're made of epoxy, here's one here, they're made of epoxy, and uh, they might, they probably last a lot longer. But anyway, let me, uh, let me check the other one out over here. Okay, we got this, uh, this other one hooked up here, and I'll see we're getting out of it. Okay. We're not, we're not even getting a reading out of it, so I'm surprised I'm getting a buzz out of it at all. You know, usually when a capacitor goes bad, you know, you know, you get no action. But uh, I'm gonna take it apart and see what happens. See, you change the capacitor, see if that works. All right, this is how you open them. There's uh, usually two little pins. This, this top here slides off. And there's usually two tiny little pins in here. This one, this one doesn't have them. So either I took them out at one time, or they just didn't. Somebody else took them out, but they were there at one time. And then you just, uh, this, this top is broke, slit in half. But uh, then you just slide this, uh, these covers off. And not much to see in here. It's just a bunch of black tar that they, they poured in there to keep everything from grounding out and, and moving. What you have here, you can't really see much, is uh, your primary and secondary coil here. You know, if, if they burn out, you might as well just throw the thing out. Unless you want to replace the whole thing, but like I said, they're only five hours, so nobody, nobody bothers to mess with them. They usually throw them out. But under here, you're gonna to have to dig out all this tar, and then you'll see the old capacitor. It's uh, it's gonna be a big long thing. It's it's not gonna look anything like the one we're gonna put in there. But uh, you usually have a big piece of glass separating all this. And all right, let me dig it out and see what it looks like. All right, it's not tough to get the tar out. You know, it's all hard. You see, I got a, you actually one in the capacitor already. But, you know, you just stick a little screwdriver in there and it sort of cracks away. You know, you don't, want, you don't want to make too much of a mess of this. I have it flying all over the garage. Just a little bit of time. Like I said, it comes right out. Some guys will, will heat that back up and, and put it back in here. I don't, I don't do that. I just throw that shit out. As a matter of fact, I don't even fill it with anything. You can actually fill it with silicone or 
whatever you want, but like I say, I don't, I don't fill anything. I don't, I don't use these for, for engines. I'm not, I'm not going to put this in a Model T, and the wires aren't going to ground out, so. You see? I can't see yet. I don't know what you could see, but you can actually see the capacitor right here. It's, it's a long thing. And like I say, it doesn't take doesn't take much. You know, you hear a crunching and cracking out. I think actually I probably disconnect that wire there and that wire there and put my capacitor right there. But I'm going to take it out. I wouldn't have any room to put my, my lid back on. But uh, let me finish digging this out and we'll show you what we got. All right. Got it chipped out here. You can see the capacitor from here to here. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go a little further and there's like a, a quarter inch piece of glass here that they use to separate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually take that out too so I have room to put my capacitor. I've seen them at shows where if you just you just can disconnect the the wire here. You know just clip the wire and then uh, I've seen them connected uh, connected to the outside here. You know to me that looks a little goofy but uh, you know it works. So uh, I'm going to dig this hole out and take that piece of glass out so I have room so I can stick my capacitor in there. Alright, I actually got the capacitor out here. That's what it looks like. These two, these two things here are, are exactly the same. Except this one here is 100 years old and this one here is brand new. Okay, here's the end of it. This was, this was connected to one end. I don't know if you can see that. And then this was connected to the other end. So, they also have, they also have a jammed in like little pieces of wood. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get this out here. This was uh, in the back. You know, that, uh, that just keeps it stable. Actually, just little chips of wood. And, uh, you know, that, that keeps it stable and less tar and everything you have to put in there. But like I say, I don't know if you can see it. You might be able to see it shining. But that there is actually a big piece of glass, so I'm just going to see if I can break that away. And that'll, uh, that'll give me plenty of room to stick my uh, capacitor in. Alright, I was able to get the piece of glass to pop off. I don't know if you see, but uh, they have little pieces of wood here. That's, that's all just for spacers and stuff. That uh, really doesn't do anything. Okay. There's a piece of glass. It's amazing what they used to use. That's a pretty thick piece. But now, now I have room for my capacitor. I stick my capacitor in there. Alright, that's the only reason I took that glass out. Otherwise, I wouldn't have left it in. I can't get my capacitor out now. All right. Now, actually, all you have to do is uh, cut this wire here and this wire here, and put your capacitor right there. All right. Let me clean that up a bit. All right. I soldered it in. You see, I soldered the over to this uh, this end here. This stays in. This this connects out to the this connects out to this. Uh, can you see it? There you go. Get you in camera. That goes out to this big uh, titty here. And then this other one goes out to this, uh, your uh, ground. So you have one, one going to ground here, and then this one actually connects up to these studs. Doesn't matter which stud. But that stud actually has a wire going, I guess it goes to the primary or the secondary, I can't see, but it, it, goes, it has another wire going off of it. But I just soldered it to the existing wire that was there. And what I'm going to do is, uh, you don't want these two wires here to touch. I don't know if you can see that. You know, so when, when I tuck this in here, I'm going to actually put something in there, just, just between them two. These does not matter back here. But uh, I'm going to put something in there just to keep that. I don't know, a piece of wood or... I would use the glass, but it's too long. Maybe I'll just break the glass and put it in. But well, whatever. Uh, you you want to keep them two from touching. So let me, uh, let me bring this over to the bench and see if it works before I button it up. All right. I got you guys set up behind me. You can look over my shoulder. So uh, let's see what this looks up here. You get your positive. You get your spark plug. And you got to go up. I got my, I got my thing turned around here. Sorry about that. Let me see here. That's my negative. This is my positive here. And this here is my spark. Alright. You 
one view there. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Can you see that there? Talk about a kick ass spark, huh? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, you can actually tune these up with the. This is the wrong size driver, but you drive that in. You can actually tune it up to where you want it. But anyway, we got a super spark now. Alright, so that's a success. Let me uh, button this up and then uh, we'll call that done. Alright, I just found a little piece of wood stuck in there. So that'll keep that from moving, keep the Mars from touching. You know? If I, if I was going to fill with anything, I would just fill it with silicone, but uh, I'm not going to fill with anything. We're not driving cross country with this thing anymore. It's just going to be in a little uh, hit and miss engine or something. Alright, and that should last, that should actually last another hundred years or longer. I don't know. I won't be here to see. Alright, so there you go. Road King's happy now. Road King got another, another buzz coil he can use. Alrighty. Enough of this. Might as well fix these while I got them out. It takes 15 minutes, right? Same thing. Radix spark to the plug and that says no good. Needs cap, so. Alright.